Hey there, Abiding Fam. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I'm so excited to be here for another Journal With Me video. And this one I am especially excited about because I really love the way that this layout turned out. And it was about a really special day because it was the last weekend that Ben and I got to spend together at the apartment I was running in Lancaster and so it was just so nice to have that time together and to just enjoy the city and living there one last weekend before I moved back home with my parents. Spoiler alert, I am back home with my parents if you weren't familiar with that. I did share that with my patrons in a video over there but I'm telling you guys now widely that I am back home with my parents and honestly I think it's a real blessing in my life right now because this is almost certainly going to be the last time that I ever get to live with my parents and I'm just really trying to appreciate all of the quality time that we will have together in this year. So for this entry I am just trying to capture a wonderful day in which we spent a lot of time together just around the city. We went to a cafe and I got a London Fog because if you weren't already aware, if you're new here, my favorite drink in terms of a hot beverage is a London Fog. And so I got that at the cafe and we just sat by the window and talked about our upcoming uh, trip because we were going to take a little mini vacation and we were going to go backpacking together. So we were talking about that and just kind of planning it out and it was raining outside so we were watching the rain out in the distance and yeah, it was just a really, really nice, peaceful time together. And then later that day, my dad actually stopped by because he was going to help fix up a few things before I moved out so my landlords wouldn't get too upset <laughs> with some things that did not go quite right. So he helped me fix those up. He is such a good man and I'm so blessed to have him in my life. And then we went to lunch to our favorite restaurant which is Callaloo. It's this Trinidadian restaurant and it is phenomenal by far my favorite place to eat and so it was kind of our last hurrah because it's our favorite restaurant and we knew that we weren't going to get to go there nearly as often now that I wasn't living there anymore even though I still would be working in the area we wouldn't be spending as much time together there so we splurged and went there one last time and then the rest of the day we just drank some tea and I read uh, the book I was reading, Killer Angels, aloud, and Ben just kind of sat and listened <laughs> as I read. It's, you know, one of those cute little quirky things we do where we read books aloud to each other. <laughs> and then we rented a movie and made dinner, and yeah, it was just really such a special good day. And so the way I am kind of representing that in this entry is obviously one through photos. I have moments from that day highlighted in these photos. There's a photo of my London Fog and a photo of Ben with his curry from Callaloo. And a way to make these photos really pop is to create clusters. And that's one of my favorite things to do is create little embellishment clusters around my photos. And the way I did that is I kind of wanted to give it a floral look, so I ripped off some of the craft paper, which is just from an old paper bag I got from a gift shop or something, ripped that up and made it kind of in the leaf shape, and then used these other stickers from this American Crafts sticker book that I have, which I will have linked down below and also linked on my Amazon influencer shop for you. So you can always find all of the journaling things I use over there. But I just put those down and kind of arranged it so that there were little floral elements in the corners of those photos. 
And then you can see I also added that cute sticker of the house up in the left hand corner and I love that sticker so much because it really kind of does look like the apartment I was renting. It was a two stories with like an attic on top and it just worked out really well. So I wanted to play off of some of the gold foiling in the other stickers so I brought in this best day sticker from that same sticker book and it got ripped a little bit but the nice thing about stickers is you can kind of cover that up just by putting it down and so that of course says best day and something to know about me is that I rarely use best day amazing day fantastic day any stickers there are so many of those in sticker books like this where it's like perfect day and I very very rarely will use those stickers because I don't want to make it seem like every day was a perfect day and I really just save them and covet them for truly wonderful days so if you see a sticker on a page that says best day or wonderful day or perfect day you know that it really was <laughs> a really good day because I really do try to use those sparingly so once I had all of my little clusters on there and you can see that I created a little cluster at the bottom too with the teacup sticker and the craft paper just to kind of bring it all together and to create the threes because I like to do things in odd numbers it's just more visually appealing so that is why I have the two photos but then that extra element there to create the third kind of piece to visually draw your eye down the page and so I wrote above best day in the pink pen we had the so it says we had the best day and that was just to bring in the pink from the page next to it even though these pages aren't the same day i have this thing i've realized where i'm always trying to make adjacent pages visually match or just in a similar color scheme similar stickers just something that ties them together even if the actual things that happened that day aren't necessarily tied together. I don't always do this, but I definitely have a tendency to try and make my pages match. Does anybody else do that? Do you find where your adjacent pages are very similar in their color schemes? For me, it just makes it easier to get that second page started too, because it's like I already have a sense of a color pattern that works, of stickers that look really well together and so I can kind of just play off of that on the next page so in some ways that's a good tip to use for yourself if you're feeling a little stuck go back to another entry even the entry next to it and use what worked there in the entry you're trying to do now so I guess I took a nice little long tea break there as I was just figuring out if I needed anything extra on this entry and I decided that I wanted to go back over the craft paper I had put down and just doodle my own little leaves and that just I felt tied it all together really nicely and made the craft paper look a little bit more purposeful so here is the finished entry guys I love the way it turned out and part of that is just because I love the memories that are associated with this page so I hope you enjoyed this video and that it provided some inspiration for your own journaling. Remember that your memories matter and they deserve to be abiding. So pick up a pen, grab a journal, and just start. That's the only advice I can offer. Just put something down on the page. So thank you for watching. Thank you to my patrons for making this possible. And if you're interested in more content, be sure to check out my Patreon and Instagram. You can find all of my links and products down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.